my family is. That's my my safe haven. I'm used to having my kids <laughs> running around and jumping everywhere. It's, that's my peace. I've been living here for seven years and I uh, grew up in the Bronx, New York, about an hour south from here. Not the best neighborhood, but uh, my parents moved me up here. A lot, a lot better neighborhood. Um, that's actually where I found my first MMA gym. So, shout out to my parents. Without them moving me up here, I wouldn't have found my gym. And I'm still at the same gym. Shane's workout today is pretty light just because we're winding down camp. So, it's more of like just cardio based with some corrective exercises for upper body. So, T spine mobility. Um, some core work, nothing too crazy. Again, this is his last day. He travels tomorrow, so kept it light, just a calorie burn. Job, good job. All the hard work done. I mean, it's been like, it feels like it's been the longest camp of my life. Honestly, just to be done is like the best feeling. So like, now it's just time to make weight and then have fun on Friday night. There we go. Nice. Dude. All the hard work done. Everything I got went to this camp. Emptied my heart, my soul, my body, my mind. The last push at home. Ready to get the win next week. Friday the 14th. You guys know what to expect when you get a Shane Burgos fight. This is going to be the best Shane Burgos world has ever seen. I've been here before, but I uh, never fought here, so it's, it's pretty interesting. I know I'm a quiet guy. I know that the town is not really that quiet, but it's cool to be here. You know, it's, it's like the make of fighting. I don't care. I don't put pressure on myself this year. I'm going to fight until I want to fight. Uh, it's interesting. The fight is interesting against the Burgos. I, I won the, the championship last year, and this year is just a bonus, you know? I do that for the money this year. That's it. No, <laughs> but I got the internet. I was like, I like doing nothing. Man. He's at the top of his game. After his last fight, the championship last year, he's just on another level. I think uh, the confidence is uh, at, a, at its highest right now. So he's destroying everyone in, uh, in the training camps. Now we're in Las Vegas, just ready to ready to rock. This grown? Yeah, yeah, okay. This is grown. It's really great. You can see where the line is. And the beard, uh, definitely need to trim it down. Got you. You leaving Monday? Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. During the fights, the tweets go up on the bottom. One of my opponent's tweets, Olivier, commented on my haircut. He said, Performance of the night goes to Shane's barber. And then <laughs> here's my barber right here. Yep. <laughs> so let's go. As soon as Shane signed the fight, I was like, yo, that's the dude that left the comment. He's like, holy <laughs> it is. That's funny. Yeah. Now, now here we go, full circle. Look at that. Very important. Can't look like a, a schlep when you're one of the best fighters in the world. You know, I mean, you can. I get who's going to say something to you, you know? That's but, true. but it's better to look better. It's better to look good. Yeah, look the part, good. you know? So I said, look Be good. the best, look the best. You know. Fight the best. Fight the best. Yeah. Yeah. How does the season work? Is it a point system? Yeah, so the first two fights are like a preseason fight. You get two fights that get you seated for the, the playoffs. Then you go into the, from the playoffs, you win the playoff fight, then you go to the finals. Gotcha. Nobody knows what Shane's capable of. <laughs> I've seen a lot. I stepped in like, I don't know. Amateur, I was still an amateur Shane, when I met you. still an amateur, yeah. still wearing head gear, yeah. leg gear. Yeah. And I watched him fight and, and seen his drive and I was like, this kid's going places. Best in the biz, Kevin Barber. You guys are in the area, check him out. Gonna have you looking this way. Throw up one of those, one of those, one of those, anything you want to do. It's good to finally be here and fighting for the first time in Vegas, so yeah, buzzing for that. Turn around. 
obviously last year I made it to the final and lost out, so this year just one step closer and that's obviously winning it. And give me a pause. The belt and the $1 million would just finish off my legacy. Excellent. I've achieved a lot in the sport and that's the last final cherry on the cake. Um, my camp was amazing, you know. I was training very hard. I'm very excited, you know. I'm happy for fighting the main card and I'm gonna fight against uh, Stevie Ray. It's a good match and let's do it. Let's make uh, six points in the first round. I like this, I like the attention. <laughs> I like the photo session and especially now like four days before the wedding, it's Thursday. So we have we still have energy to make the photos look nice and uh, it's a good experience. It's part of to be an athlete. I, I really like it. And that's it, you're done. Who we'll look like more strong? Me <laughs> or him? <laughs> Me. <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> <Good job. laughs> I want to spend some money with my family there, you know, pay the barbecue for everybody. Perfect. So my goal is to return with two checks. Four years you have to go there. It's been four years since you've been there? Four years. Oh man, dude. My family, yeah, my family don't know my daughter there. Now we finally can go when we return the you stay home like welcome home. So Americans are home sweet home, but uh, I definitely miss Brazil, especially the food. The food's great. Is that good? Oh, I like it. That's, <laughs> That's great. Yeah, today we're just refreshing drills that we do every day, you know, during the training camp uh, at the gym at, in Montreal at H2O. But just replicate everything here in Las Vegas, you know, brought one of our fighters, Ian, to, to have him drill and spar with. Nice, sharp, sharp. 20 seconds. It's just like clockwork right now. You know, everything is just uh, repetitions what we've done and uh, it's going to come out in, in the fight. Double. That's it. Again. I think for a lot of uh, people coming over from other organizations, they come here and they have a rude awakening. You know, I think Olivier, out of all the other fighters who have come to this organization, uh, has done the best. You know, and he's showed his uh, his skill set and his level. He's taken out everyone. He's undefeated, undisputed. He's the world champ. That's what Shane has to look forward to. Beautiful weather, perfect weather. It's like 75 right now. Humidity is not too good. I mean, there's zero humidity in Vegas, but uh, it's not bad at all right now. Just made it. Wow. It was long. It was long. Coming from the complete opposite side of the, the country, all the way to the other side, it stopped in Denver. Now we're finally here. So uh, it's a load off, but I can't wait just to be in the in the Airbnb, relaxing and completely load off. I love Las Vegas. I love everything about Las Vegas. The food, the entertainment, the fun. I'm not a big drinker and I'm not a big gambler, but I just love this, the, the energy the city has. But, but uh, this time is completely different. I mean, it's not, I'm not going there for vacation. I'm going there for, for business. I'm going to, to get paid. I'm focused strictly on the task at hand. Better than ever, looking like a champ as he is. I think he's fighting a very all-round fighter, great experience. But I've seen his fights and I know him from before. And I think he's a good opponent, so we respect him a lot. But I just think that side was better than everybody. So the odds should be on his side. Up, up, up. I think last year, up, up, up. you know, becoming the champ, Making that money this year, he's already the champ. I think the pressure is off instead of on. Now he can take a little extra risk and uh, try to go for finishes. 
Listen, it's it's MMA. Up, up, up. Oh. It's small gloves. Everybody work their ass off to get to get to the top. So uh, I I would never allow myself to think that nobody can touch me. But I believe that I have it all in my own hands. And uh, when I'm on top, I believe that I'm the guy to beat. If you saw our camp, uh, you would think that I came from a loss because I know that people are gonna push, so it makes me feel great. I'm working on it. Friday, it's time to have some fun. Let's go.